What's up? It's your girl Miss Brown here. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a little CWA going on right now. Makeup is not done and it's for this baby that we So as you can see by the title of this video, this is all called Featuring All Stuff. And um, yeah, right after I do this haul, I'm going to do a makeup look. So here's going to be slay, makeup look, slay, everything like that. On to this video. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. featuring Ulta and it was just some things that I picked up just the other day over at Ulta. Can you see the bag? Ah, oh, here it goes. So I did go in, I was only supposed to get a few things, new concealer and stuff like that, but I kind of went a little overboard, but it was definitely worth it. So the first thing that I have here is this Real Technique, um, this Real Technique Miracle, ooh, it's open. Technique uh, Miracle and Body Sponge, and this is what the packaging looks like, and this is what the sponge looks sponge. like, and I absolutely love it. I have the little smaller version. I never got the big body version one, so I picked it up, and I was like, you know what? This would be great for doing my entire face because instead of me having to get a new sponge, because I also have I have these sponge. I had got them in the two set that were like $11.99. And this was only $6.99, which I thought was awesome. It was very reasonable for this nice big sponge. And also, I have the Beauty Blender sponge that I got from Sephora, and I paid $20. And to be honest, compared to this and the Beauty Blender, I would definitely go with the Real Technique brush. Um, just because price-wise and how the product is, first of all, I love this little slant that... It has so it's really good with like getting into certain corners when I'm doing my makeup I love when it comes to nice point as does the beauty blender um, which is good for you know concealer under eyes and everything like that but I just feel like the, the um, real technique sponge is a lot more versatile than the beauty I'm blender for something inexpensive you know you don't want to spend $20 at Sephora or wherever else on a beauty blender I will go ahead and get the Real Technique sponge. And I am really curious to see how big this thing will get. So let's go ahead and do so. We're going to go ahead and wet this and see how big it gets. And this is what it looks like after it's all nice and big, which I definitely love it because it's just going to make blending and putting on my foundation 10 times faster and easier and quicker. And especially if you're getting down here on my neck, because as you guys can see, my neck, I have a few dark spots something I always suffered with when I was a kid so yeah but anyways I'm so in love with this and I can't wait to use it Urban Decay a long lasting makeup set and spray as you guys know I have the other one and I fell in love with that but of course it came to an end so I got this new this is the fairly new one because the other one I was trying to find I believe they don't sell that anymore at least not at Ulta so this is the new one the Urban Decay All Nighter Set and Spray Long Lasting, which I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. They had a few different ones. They had this one. They had one for like oily skin, which I don't suffer from oily skin. I suffer from dry skin, which I think is a little bit better because I would have been annoyed if I have oily skin, to be honest. But, and they had another one. I think it was just like a regular set and spray, but this one said All Night long lasting spray so i was like uh yeah of course i'm gonna get this one so i picked this one up this was actually 30 dollars, so it was a bit pricey um the other one that i paid for because it was being discontinued at ulta they were selling it for like 15 dollars, so it was like half the price so i lucked out with that one but this one i really thought it was well worth my money because i really loved the last one and i know i was gonna love this one so i was like why not? It's a great investment. Of course, I had to get another NYX First Babe Prime Primer Base. I really love this. Um, one of the great primers that I found for my skin, it doesn't dry out my skin like some primers do. It's 
it's just the best you know i just go ahead and spray it on it gives me like that nice little oil base so my so my makeup can stick to it and my ma my makeup just adheres and lasts a lot longer and a lot better so of course this is one of the nyx products that i definitely 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 had to keep in my makeup collection up i have i really wanted to try out these charcoal mats because i don't I don't really have too much problem areas, um, but I do have a few like blackheads and whiteheads that I do want to get rid of just a little bit. So I always wanted to try out these charcoal masks. So I got about three of them because they were like three for five. So I picked up these Tarte lashes and you guys, when I saw these Tarte lashes, I was so in love. Look how pretty these are. Let me pull them off the package. So anyways, these are the Tarte Lashes, and they're from, uh, they're a Flirt. Uh, the design, the actual lashes are in the style Flirt. They're cruelty-free lashes. They look like, you guys can see those. They're so pretty, they're so natural looking, but they're long and wispy, and that's what I love so much about them. Now, me, I'm normally not like a big, like, bold lashes. I don't need like these long, dramatic lashes. For no reason um when i do go off when i do go out you know to like a party or something like that i will pick up some dramatic lashes and i'll wear them here and there but nine times out of ten if i'm going to work or you know just a natural if i just want like a natural little look i'm always going for like the natural looking lashes i've never tried tar concealer but i've seen so many reviews on them and so many people saying that they love tar concealer and i just had to change up my concealer because you guys <sighs> nyx concealer wasn't just doing it for me anymore like it's like it used to i don't know if like the formula changed or what have you but NYX concealer has just not been put in, in the work like it used to back in the day, okay? Like, so, and I've tried so many drugstore because you guys know, nine times out of ten, I'm always in a drugstore getting my makeup. So I get all my drugstore makeup. But I have not found the right drugstore makeup to really do it for me anymore. So I thought I'd give these a try and yeah, so I got them both in the color Rich and Mahogany, one for highlighting and one for contouring, of course. On camera, it doesn't seem like it's a big difference, but trust me, there it is like about a shade lighter in person. So yeah, this one is my contour color and then this one is my highlight. And I love this tube, it's so gorgeous. And then looking at this applicator, it's so defined, I love it. So precise and it will get right up under there. So that's perfect. This tube is nice size and have a nice amount of product in that. So I'm really happy about that one. And I'm just gonna do a little swatch for you guys. So two colors, one for my highlight, one for my contour, like I said. And I love it. I love the formula. It feels so soft and smooth. When I tried it out in the store, I was like, okay, I have to get it. It's nice and soft and smooth. I don't know if you guys can see this, but look how creamy that is and how smooth it applies. So I'm like, I'm so excited to try this out. Of course, was another eyebrow pencil from NYX. Two of the products that I definitely can stand by from NYX, unless they change the formula and then I will be pissed, is the primer base and the eyebrow pencil. I love, love, love this stuff. So these are two products that I feel like will forever be in my, um, in my makeup, my makeup collection. And yeah, I will never stray away from it. But this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and it's in the color Dark Brown. And I was like, this looks like the perfect dark brown that I've been looking for. And this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Ooh, and look at that. That's like the best dark brown that I've been looking for. And I love it. It's nice and smooth. It goes on beautifully. It's nice and creamy. I just love it. I've never had a problem with NYX Jumbo 
um, eye pencil. I've used milk, of course, to prime. That was before. And I've also used yogurt, which was like, was it yogurt? I believe it was called yogurt, which was like a nice little pretty shimmery gold. And I used to use that as a base for any gold that I used to that gold that I've used for any type of makeup. Look. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini haul. Like I said, I'm gonna to come to you guys with a nice little makeup look using this same exact product. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Once again, welcome to all my new subscribers, all my old subscribers, welcome as well. Thank you guys for subscribing and joining me along this beautiful, beautiful journey together. We are at about 58 subscribers. I'm so, so, so excited. I cannot wait for my channel to take off. Whenever it's ready, I am ready as well. Okay? Once we reach 100 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So you guys keep sharing these videos. Keep liking it. Hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below. I will have a giveaway for you guys. I'm not going to tell you just yet what the giveaway is going to be. We have to hit 100 subscribers first. Okay. So, with that all being said, you guys go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. If you like this video and you found it helpful, even if you didn't, still hit that thumbs up button. Also, comment down below and tell me what you think of these products. Do you use any of these products? Do you like any of these products? Let me know down below. I would love to hear your responses, your views your inputs, whatever it is, your likes, your dislikes, whatever. Just comment down below and let me know. Also, as always, hit that subscribe button. After you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss another video from who? From me. i catch you guys in the next one. Bye, love.